Hello and welcome to Young Turks, India's longest running show on startups and entrepreneurship. I'm Shruti Mishra. On the show today, we bring you two startups that have one thing in common. Both are betting big on their first mover advantage. First up, India's primary all-natural Greek yogurt brand, Epigamia. And catch the story of India's first industrial hemp startup, Bombay Hemp Company. Our first guest today has given a functional and contemporary twist to the Desi Dahi. Co-founder of Drums Food International, the parent company that launched the ice cream brand Hokey Pokey, Rohan Mirchandani launched his second venture, Epigamia, India's primary all-natural Greek yogurt in June 2015. Helping you make the healthier choice one delicious flavor at a time, Epigamia also launched its snack pack earlier this year. Currently selling 2.5 million units a month, Rohan is planning to set up another manufacturing plant in South India to increase volumes. The venture is also looking at turning profitable by end of 2018. Take a look. A foodie at heart, Rohan Mirchandani began his entrepreneurial journey after leaving a successful career in finance to pursue his culinary passion. In a span of seven years, Rohan has driven the success of two unique startups. In 2008, Rohan co founded Drums Food International and launched Hokey Pokey Ice Creams, which was an instant hit. Later in 2015, Rohan launched Epigamia, a Greek yogurt brand that has taken the FMCG scene by storm. Wondering where the name Epigamia came from, here's how. Uh, Alexander the Great, the Greek Empire, the Macedonian Empire. Uh, we had the armies crossing Persia and reaching the Indian, Indian side. And the Indian Empire at the time was the, the Mauryan Empire, Chandragupta Maurya. And there was a, a battle that was fought back then in 500, uh, sorry, not 500 AD, 500 BC. And the battle culminated in a, in a peace treaty called Epigamia between the Macedonian Greeks and the Chand Mauryan Indians. And that treaty actually, essentially in ancient Greek, it means the blending and merging of two civilizations. And we thought it was very interesting for us, given what we're trying to do here, um, which is contemporize tradition as well as push boundaries. Um, you know, sort of give amazing products that are Indian in terms of where they're born and where they're made, but they're, but they're global in nature. Helping you make the healthier choice one delicious flavor at a time, Epigamia also launched its Snack Pack, a unique product that packs in dry snacks that can be combined with the Greek yogurt earlier this year. So what else sets Epigamia apart from competition? First and foremost, you know, I think um, it's our focus on, on the consumer. Uh, you know, just frontline focus on the consumer, what's happening within India, what's happening globally, and making sure that we're delivering on, on the health promises that are, that are there. So currently, you know, we saw a big gap in protein, uh, a lack of protein products that are available that are preservative-free and functional for the Indian consumer. And we focused really hardcore on that. Uh, secondly, um, is, our, is our focus on innovation, constantly innovating. Uh, we just launched a pink guava yogurt. Um, Nobody has ever done that in the entire globe. Uh, we've got some of the best guavas in the world right here in India, uh, Peru as we call them, and we've taken that and sort of uh, created a product around it. So I, I would say a focus on functional health as well as innovation, and I think that's where we're able to stay uh, on top of everybody. Made using an ancient Greek process of straining yogurt with all natural ingredients and no preservatives, Epigamia is currently available in nine flavors and has over 5,000 retail touch points, including stores like Reliance Fresh, Godrej Nature's Basket, Future Group Food Hall, Big Bazaar, and Hyper City. E commerce platforms such as Big Basket, as well as numerous general trade retailers spread across Delhi NCR, Mumbai, Bangalore, Chennai, and Hyderabad. Priced between 35 to 38 rupees for a 90 gram cup, we asked Rohan the reason for Epigamia's premium pricing. One thing we see is, is this overall movement towards preservative free, all natural eating. Uh, and I think overall the market is just completely moving to that direction, no matter what your take on health is. And therefore, you know, um, our, our pricing is such that we're, we're focused on that. And, and we want to be priced at a premium. It's not that we don't want, you know, it's not, our, our idea is not to cut costs and slash costs. We use real fruit. You know, our mangoes come from Ratnagiri. Our, 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 you know, we, our, our strawberries come from Panchkani. And we use real, real dairy, uh, you know, it's cow's milk. So when people consume our products, they know what they're eating is real. They taste it. You know, we've heard people say, it's asli am ka taste 
And I think that really, really uh, compels us to add that you know, uh, premium because people know what they're paying for. And the same sort of consumer um, is paying a, a heavy premium for a fresh mango or, 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 you know, and what, and, or a fresh strawberry. So I think, I think that connection is what we're trying to push for and so far it's working. Striking the perfect balance between health and taste, Epigamia, after its pre-series round of 152 crore rupees, till date has raised 134.5 crore rupees across two rounds of funding from DSG consumer partners, an early-stage venture capital firm, and Verl Invest, a Belgian-based consumer-focused private equity group. Since their last round in July 2017, the company claims to have expanded distribution by over five times and today 95% of its distribution is direct and only 5% via other channels. So if you're assuming each truck can come in. Having marketed Epigamia using guerrilla, hardcore, on-the-street strategies and on social media, the brand recently tied up with digital entertainment company Pocket Aces for a web series called What the Forks. Rohan now wants to make Epigamia a household name and is aggressively working towards it. And there's other products that we see within the, the market um, that, that we're excited about. Uh, some in the beverage space, some in the overall sort of dairy space uh, that you're going to see us rolling out. Um, and I think as soon as the next sort of six months, you're going to see us rolling out more products uh, over the next sort of you know, 12 to 15 months. Um, the other place, place we're also focused on is expanding our distribution throughout the country. The next six to eight months is going to be a focus on the major five cities and the ancillary cities that we're in. But we want to take it sort of nationwide uh, all over in the next, uh, I'd say, 12 to 15 months. And then also export. We're getting a lot of inquiries because of the quality of our products and the ingredients that we use, the amazing produce we get within the country of India. And I think we want to focus on, on, on some of that as well. With the rising popularity of probiotic products, higher level of brand recall and awareness, and increased market penetration, Epigamia seems to be well placed to lead the Greek yogurt market in India. Rohan, we wish you the very best for your expansion plans. Time for a break, but when we return, a startup that's transforming cannabis into a channel that powers the future. The story of Bombay Hemp Company after this short break.